Hello everyone, welcome to my vision technologies. Today I came up with an interesting topic that is called report security and permissions in Oracle Fusion SCM. Before we get into actual discussion, I would request everyone please watch this video till the end and if you find this video is interesting, kindly subscribe to my channel and share it with all your Fusion friends. So in today's class, I am going to demonstrate about these three topics. Why do we use secure views in BI reports? And what's the significance of business intelligence roles? And why we use them in Fusion SCM? And uh, we will also see how to restrict BI or OT BI report access to specific user names or role names or catalog groups. Okay, let's go ahead and see how why do we use secure views in BI report first. Then we'll uh, see about other things later. So typically when you try to run otba report how the otba report security works you know so let's assume that i'm the employee i have employee role as well as us hr specialist role that us specialist hr specialist data role is restricted with the security profiles where i have restricted uh, my uh, security profile by the legal employer which means whenever i try to log in as a employee and us hr specialist uh, data role what i would get the expected behavior is i should able to see only uh, us people whoever belongs to that legal employer so according to the security profiles that i have restricted for my data role so the same way when you uh, when you uh, when you try to run the otba based on your roles whatever the roles that are associated to your user account based on the role if any restrictions are there for the data role that are associated to your user account those re uh, restrictions will automatically apply to the OTBA. You don't need to uh, do uh, any manipulation in order to restrict the data. So by default, whatever the roles that are associated, those roles and the data security uh, will be applied to your user account. And whenever you try to run the uh, OTBA analysis, automatically according to the security of the security of your user account, the data will be pulled up. Whereas in BA report, it's not like OTBA. In BA report, irrespective of roles, like you know, if you have an employee and USHR specialist data role, and whenever you try to run uh, create a data model, what it does, if you run any report, it pulls the complete information data, irrespective of the roles that are assigned to your user account. In this scenario, if you wanted to restrict your access to specific to your security profile that are assigned to your user account if you want to restrict it that can be done by using security views security views plays a vital role to uh, restrict the data that you are viewing whenever you run the report based on the role that are assigned to your user account and in which the security profiles that are uh, specified for your data roles let's see some of the secure views that we often use into fusion SM. see these are the secure views that we often into fusion SM. if you wanted to restrict uh, based on uh, person data then we use this security view if you want to restrict based on public person data then we use this security view if you want to restrict based on person legal employee secure list view so if you use the secure list view in your query, what your query does, and if you join the secure list view with your concern tables, automatically, in case if you if you have roles and that roles are restricted with the legal employer, then you will only see the legal employer. I mean, you will only see the people who are uh, available under this legal employer. Similarly, assignment secure list view also. Now what we will do, we'll see one table. So this is my basic query. So what this query does, so basically it pulls the basic information of an employee. In case if you use secure views in this table, what this does, so this is a secure view list table. So if you use this table, what happens when you join this table with the respective table, I mean, uh, based on the security profile that are assigned to user user account. So if you want to provide any restriction here, so you have to use a secure list view in your query and then you have to provide the join once you provide the join if you go and run this query what will happen so whoever running this query 
so if that person has any restriction at assignment level only that assignment data that person can see if you don't include this secure list v table in your query then what will happen irrespective of the roles that are assigned to your user account you can pull the all the employees information and that's how secure views are very useful in fusion scm so overall if you join secure list v in your select query then you will be able to see the data based on the security profiles that, that are assigned to your roles in case if you don't include security uh, secured view in your query then you would able to see all the employees data irrespective of the roles that are assigned to your user account that's how security secured list views works in fusion scm So next we will see what is business intelligence role and why do we use business intelligence role in Fusion SCM. So if you look at here, so we have list of business intelligence role. These four called as business intelligence role. So if you have BI consumer role, what you can do, you can run the business in BI reports. And if you have BI other role, with this role you can create and edit your reports. If you have BI administrator role, it's like a super user role it inherits ba other role which inherits ba consumer role so please note that none of predefined hcm job role has ba administrator access in fusion hcm ba publisher data model developer is inherited by application developer role which is inherited by application implementation consultant role therefore so among these two roles like you know application developer role or implementation consultant role either with either of these roles either can easily user can easily go ahead and create the report go ahead and create the reports and the reports because this this is the super user role in b version so next we'll see what is business intelligence roles and why do we use business intelligence roles in fusion scm so typically business intelligence roles are used to provide the access to either OTBA or BA reports in Fusion SCM. So by default, whenever you try to create a folder or whenever you try to create a report in Fusion application, SCM application, by default, these BA intelligence roles will be allocated to the folder, either folder or report. So if you want to restrict that report to specific user or specific group of catalog people then you have to create catalog groups separately and then you have to allocate whom you wanted to uh, group into that catalog group and then you have to assign that catalog group to the respective folder so that whoever available into that folder they only can able to access the respective reports under that folder that's how you can provide the restriction now we will see what is the significance of each business intelligence role if you see the BA consumer role, the predefined transaction business intelligence transaction duty which inherits the BA consumer role through which you can run the business intelligence reports. And BA other role which is used to create and edit reports. And BA administrator role with this role, this it's like a super user role. With this role, you can create, update, delete any report in fusion hcm application please note that none of the predefined hcm job roles has be administrator role access in fusion application however there are two roles like application developer job role as well as application implementation consultant role these two two roles are inherited with the ba administrator role so a users with either of these predefined job roles can manage business intelligence publisher data models without any issue. Now let's go ahead and see in the application how business intelligence roles are useful. And also we will see how to restrict BA report or OT BA report to specific username or role code or catalog groups. Okay, let me log into the application. This is my application. By default, whenever uh, you try to create any folder, 
so this is a place where you have to go and see your permissions so if you go and see here by default you will get these three you, you if you don't want to use the seeded functionality if you wanted to use i mean if you want to restrict your report to specific username what you have to do is you have to come down here select the person whom you wanted to provide the restriction specifically that user you have to select it here just click on plus button so as soon as you click on plus button it will show you all the people here just uh, select list as users and then search for any user like you know if you want to provide this folder access to only specific person as a admin so then select the respective person here then click on ok so click on ok once you click on ok now what what is the meaning of this one is this person can able to access this report completely in case if you don't want to if you don't want this person to access completely you wanted to provide only um, um, read access then what you have to do go to the travis here or uh, go to if you go to modify then you can see the options that you can do you can read delete travis it in case if you select no access this person cannot access this one in case if you select custom access then so this is the place where you can see if you want to run the report you have to schedule the report and if you want to restrict this user to run a report only then so we have different options here however you want to restrict the access for the specific person also these are the options that you can select okay and if you don't want this person to schedule this report then you have to uncheck these two buttons this is how we can uh, uh, provide the restriction to the folders based on username in case if you want to provide the restriction based on role codes similarly you have to go here select the um, list as all and then you have to select the role code here so let me take some role code human resource simply search like human so then you will get all the roles that are available to human resource so if you want to restrict it to only hr specialist simply select the hr specialist store click on ok or if you want to search your custom roles also that also can be done so now if i search with the custom role so these are the custom roles that we have if you want to restrict based on custom role whoever having this role if you want to provide access to only those people then this is the way you have to select it and then again if you want to give the full access so that this person can do anything on this folder if you wanted to give only uh, specific access then you have to select custom and then you have to select the respect to option here if you, if you want only to provide the uh, we run the port not scheduled access then select this one if you want to provide scheduled report also th then you have to select this one that's how you have to select this one and then again we, here we have apply permissions to subfolders apply permissions to, to items within the folder if you select this option what will happen this person whatever the permissions that we are going to uh, select here the same permission will be applicable to the entire folders subfolders uh, that are available into this main folder okay if you select okay that's how it will work and then again if there is another option that we have here that is called that's called catalog groups so if you want to use the catalog groups first what you have to do is you have to go to the administrator in the application first you have to create your catalog group and then you have to come over here to create that go to the administration so i'm going to the administration now click on administration button once you click on administration button so you will get manage catalogs here under security so click on this manage catalog groups so this is a place where you have to create your catalog group i'm going to create my catalog groups my catalog group name is text 01 if i say and then once you add your group this is a place where you have to add the users whom whomever you want to include into this under this group so i am going to include some, take some employees here search so if you want to include these two people just select those two people and like this if you want to add 
how many number of people that you wanted to add if i wanted to add some other people also set here and then select all these people click on ok now your group is created once you are done with this now what you have to do is you have to go to the folder respective folder and wherever you want to apply the registration based on this catalog group there you have to go select the properties so i am selecting permissions here so so once you go once you created the catalog group then we have to assign that catalog group to the permission level select the catalog group and search for your catalog group name here my catalog group name is text so i selected text and then click on okay and then give the full access now what will happen if you remove all this or if you keep it doesn't matter if you if you whoever uh, whoever uh, associated with this group they are they also can able to access this uh, only these people can able to access the data if you add be a consumer administrator uh, other roles here what will happen along with these people whoever having those role codes okay they also can able to access this folder and if again this also depends on your requirement if you want to apply the same restriction entire the folder within the folder subfolders or within the folder what are the items that are available what are the reports that are available for all the reports if you want to apply the same restriction this is how you have to apply the restrictions so similarly if you want to go inside and if you want to apply the restriction for other folders as well similarly go here and then specifically if you want to restrict certain folders to certain users then go to permissions so again this is a place where you have to go and then add your things so if you want to provide um, only for specific users if you want to provide only read access or write access that also can be done so to do the same what you have to do is go here so click on custom if you provide if you click select no access then this person will no more can able to access this report if you select custom then you will get an options here so whatever the options i mean if you want to provide only read access to the report then select to read travis so that this person can read the report but he can't um, modify the report if you select set permissions or if you select write and delete then this person can edit the report Okay. however you want to provide the restriction the same way you have to select it here that is for subfolders in case if you wanted to go inside to the subfolder and then provide the restriction again you have to go to the permissions here and then same way you have to apply so if you want to remove all these users and you want to provide the restriction to i mean you want to provide the access to only specific user then you have to select the respective over here that's how the security and you know uh, business intelligence reports are useful if you want to restrict anything is, this is pretty simple you just have to go to the respective folder if you are not sure about the things then first you have to do what you have to do you have to go to the shell for and then go to custom this is the place where you have to check who is the admin for all the folders so to check that go to the custom click on permissions so who is the admin for the custom folder so if you see here you can get the who is the admin for this folder by default whatever the folder that you are going to edit by default you will get this one because at custom level this these are the usernames has been given so based on the uh, custom folder access you will get the complete access to other folders as well that again depends if you don't want others to i mean see the folders of some folders or if you want to restrict the access to only specific folders or specific reports or specific data model that also can be done as per your business requirement hope you understand that's all about secure views business intelligence roles and registration of users role names specific code groups hope you understand thanks for watching thank you